As the world of photography eagerly anticipates Canon's next move, exciting rumors have surfaced about the upcoming Canon EOS R7 Mark II. This new iteration of the popular APS-C mirrorless camera is poised to elevate Canon's offerings in the crop sensor market, building upon the success of its predecessor while introducing advanced features that promise to captivate enthusiasts and professionals alike. Let's delve into the rumored specifications of the upcoming Canon EOS R7 Mark II. The R7 Mark II is rumored to feature a 32.5 MP stacked APS-C CMOS sensor. This advanced sensor technology, if implemented, would mark a significant leap forward for Canon's APS-C lineup. The stacked design could offer several benefits, improved readout speeds, reduced rolling shutter effect, enhanced low-light performance, faster continuous shooting speeds, and more efficient heat management during video recording. These improvements would position the R7 Mark II as a versatile tool capable of handling a wide range of photographic scenarios, from fast action sports to low-light event photography. Autofocus capabilities are expected to see a substantial boost with the inclusion of dual-pixel CMOS AF2. This system, likely an evolution of Canon's already impressive autofocus technology, could offer even more precise and responsive focusing, especially in challenging conditions or when tracking fast-moving subjects. The R7 Mark II might incorporate some of the advanced subject recognition and tracking features seen in Canon's higher-end models, such as improved eye and face detection for both humans and animals, enhanced subject tracking across the frame, better performance in low-light situations, and more customizable AF area options. These advancements would make the R7 Mark II an attractive option for wildlife, sports, and event photographers who require fast and accurate autofocus performance. Video enthusiasts have reason to be excited, as the R7 Mark II is rumored to offer significant improvements in video recording capabilities, 4K video recording at up to 120 frames per second, 10-bit color depth for greater flexibility in post-production, HDRPQ and C-Log3 profiles for expanded dynamic range and color reproduction, and possible external 6K ProRes RAW recording. The high frame rate capability at 4K resolution would be a boon for slow motion footage, while the 10-bit color depth would provide greater flexibility in post-production color grading. The inclusion of HDRPQ and C-Log3 profiles could expand the camera's dynamic range and color reproduction capabilities, making it a versatile tool for both photographers and videographers. The possibility of external 6K ProRes RAW recording is particularly intriguing. This feature would position the R7 Mark II as a serious contender in the video market, allowing professionals to capture high-quality, edit-friendly footage with minimal compression. This capability would align the R7 Mark II more closely with higher-end cinema cameras, potentially making it an attractive B-camera option for professional video productions. The rumored Canon R7 Mark II aims to set new standards for APS-C cameras with impressive performance features, burst rates of up to 40 frames per second with the electronic shutter, 15 frames per second with the mechanical shutter, advanced 5-axis in-body image stabilization, dual UHS II card slots, improved connectivity options, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, multifunction shoe, high-resolution electronic viewfinder, and versatile variangle touchscreen. The blazing fast burst rates would make the R7 Mark II ideal for action photography, whether capturing sports events or wildlife in motion. The advanced 5-axis image stabilization system could provide sharper handheld shots in low-light conditions, expanding the camera's usability in challenging environments. Dual UHS II card slots would enhance workflow and data security for professionals, allowing for instant backups or the separation of RAW and JPEG files. The improved connectivity options would facilitate easier file transfer and remote camera control, while the multifunction shoe could support a range of accessories to expand the camera's capabilities. The high-resolution electronic viewfinder and variangle touchscreen would improve the overall shooting experience, providing photographers with clear, detailed views of their subjects and intuitive control over camera settings.
While the Canon R7 Mark II may not match all the high-end features of full-frame flagships like the EOS R1 and R5 Mark II, it has its own unique advantages, compact size and lighter weight, APS-C sensors, reach, advantage for wildlife and sports photography, more accessible price point, and advanced features rivaling some full-frame models. The camera's compact size and the APS-C sensor's inherent reach make it particularly appealing for wildlife and sports photography, where longer effective focal lengths are often desired. The R7 Mark II is expected to offer many advanced features at a more accessible price point than its full-frame counterparts, making it an attractive option for enthusiasts looking to upgrade or professionals seeking a capable secondary camera. The anticipated specifications, including the high-resolution sensor, advanced autofocus, impressive video capabilities, and fast shooting speeds, could position the R7 Mark II as a versatile tool for both photographers and videographers. While it may not replace a full-frame camera for all professionals, it could certainly complement one or serve as a primary camera for many enthusiasts and specialized photographers. According to recent leaks, the Canon R7 Mark II is set to enter the production pipeline, with an expected release date on or before February 2025. While this time frame is still subject to change, it gives photographers and videographers a general idea of when they might be able to get their hands on this exciting new camera. The relatively distant release date suggests that Canon is taking the time to refine and perfect the R7 Mark II's features, potentially incorporating feedback from the original R7 and advancements from their more recent releases. This approach could result in a more polished and capable camera that meets the evolving needs of its target audience. The rumored specifications of the Canon EOS R7 Mark II paint a picture of a highly capable and versatile APS-C mirrorless camera. If these rumors prove true, the R7 Mark II could represent a significant step forward in Canon's APS-C lineup, offering features and performance that blur the line between crop sensor and full-frame cameras. Key potential strengths of the R7 Mark II include advanced stacked sensor technology for improved image quality and performance, enhanced autofocus capabilities for precise subject tracking, impressive video features rivaling those of higher-end cameras, fast burst shooting for action photography, and improved ergonomics and usability. These features could make the R7 Mark II an attractive option for a wide range of photographers and videographers, from enthusiasts looking to upgrade their gear to professionals seeking a compact, capable secondary camera. However, it's important to approach these rumors with caution. While the potential features suggest Canon's commitment to pushing APS-C capabilities closer to full-frame performance, the final product may differ from current expectations. As the release date nears, more concrete information is likely to emerge, giving a clearer picture of what photographers can expect from the R7 Mark II. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II, based on current rumors, appears to be shaping up as an exciting addition to Canon's mirrorless lineup. Its potential combination of advanced features, compact size, and versatile performance could make it a cornerstone in Canon's APS-C offerings. As we await official announcements, photography enthusiasts and professionals alike have reason to be optimistic about the future of Canon's crop sensor mirrorless cameras. The R7 Mark II, if it lives up to these rumors, could offer a compelling mix of performance, versatility, and value in a compact package, further blurring the lines between APS-C and full-frame capabilities.